how to make homemade stickers. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, I will be making homemade stickers. So, first thing you want to do is draw what, whatever you're drawing. This present is for my friend. We have this joke where, like, she's a sweet type because she can be sweet, but she's tight. Mostly tight, but, <laughs> yeah. Um, so what you want to do is draw whatever you want. Um, it can be big, it can be small, small, uh, yeah. But once you're done with that, take parchment paper, parchment paper, and put, like, kind of this tape over it, I guess, like, as big as your drawing is, and then, yeah. So that will, yeah. And then, so, what you're gonna wanna do, and then you're gonna cut this out. Okay, let's see this one minute. Um, you t don't have to leave space. I'm gonna leave just a little space. Yeah, but the white will be showing if you're gonna leave, leave like this white space. Also, if you have anything that's not attached, don't like go cut like right there and cut it off, because then that won't work. Unless you wanna make two different separate stickers. So I'm trying to be careful not to. Oof. I'm not a good cutter. Hopefully you're better than me. Probably are. Um, mm -hmm. I think that should be good. Hmm. Do you think that looks good? Mm, I think it looks okay. Let me just trim it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, um, I was gonna have my dad make a sticker for my friend because he works at like college and he does graph. He teaches graphic design, so he does that a lot. So I thought he could make it, but it is three days until Christmas, and tomorrow is the last day of school because tomorrow's Wednesday. We don't have school on Thursday because there's supposed to be a blizzard. Which, I'm kind of sad because we weren't going to have, like, a party. Like, a winter party. But I guess it's going to be on Wednesdays now. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm trimming. And then, yeah. It is four days until Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh gosh, okay, but once you are done with that, you just, okay, grab some. You take your drawing, put it over the tape, make sure it's over the tape, and then you take your tape. Oh, it's kind of confusing because you put the tape back over it. I, um, I recommend having no air bubbles. If there's an air bubble in there, it's not the end of the world. It will be fine. Just won't look as good as. Also, these tapes are really hard to like. The tape line pulls down them really hard to put them back up. So, yeah. This tape works the best. You can use other kinds of tape, but this tape works. Ah! Oh no! Yeah. Yeah, there's an X for it. Also, if you have a YouTube channel, this is a depressing song. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, uh, did I lose it? I lost it. No, 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 no. It's fine. You don't need that tape. But once you taped it over, holy cow, it's dark. A little lighter. But yeah. 
you don't want to, okay, so I made, when I was first making these, I made a mistake by, I left no tape on the outside, which you want to leave tape because that's like the sticky, that's the sticky part. So you, so you at least want to leave like that much, or else it won't stick. Yeah. And boom, retouch. And once you want to put it on something, you're going to want to, this, this part's hard. But you want to like take off the parchment paper and stick it on and like really rub it in, make sure it stays. Or else it probably will fall off. Yeah, this is the finishing thing. Yeah, okay, guys, guys, bye. I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye, Dusty. Right here, here. Have a good shot, and bye, Dusties.